Hey, hey, it's another day and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a 7 a.m. morning routine. And I know what you're already thinking, 7 a.m.? Yeah, don't judge. Actually, this whole month has been kind of a little gift to myself in the mornings. I have been intentionally keeping mornings for myself just as kind of a little gift. It's springtime. I just had a bunch of big projects wrap up and I decided that mornings are gonna kind of be a slower start and more of a self-care moment for me. And no, I don't do this every day, but I am telling you, sleeping in till seven in the morning and then getting up and doing things that some might call unproductive has been one of the best things I could do to celebrate the start of spring. So although you probably can't call this morning routine a productive morning routine, it is a very intentional and worthwhile morning routine that I think you guys should all gift yourself once in a while as well. Honestly, probably the most productive thing you're gonna see me do here is switch the laundry from the washer to the dryer, which I do every morning since I do one load of laundry every day. So the first thing I do when I wake up is I just pop on a robe, use the bathroom, and then head downstairs. I always start my day with refilling my water cup. We have this ice machine here that makes sure we never run out of ice because I am a water drinker and an ice lover. And then I go into the kitchen and I make myself some breakfast. Yes, that's what I said. And I have been a breakfast girl for the past couple of years, but lately I've been just wolfing it down with the kids in the morning and then getting back to work. And so on mornings where I feel hungry, I actually make my breakfast right away and have the time to enjoy it by myself. And lately I've been really getting into the Starbucks egg bites. These are a baked version and they're really good even though they're not anything like Starbucks because you're not, you know, boiling them in the water or whatever they do. I will put the recipe for this down below in the description box. I used sausage, spinach, cheddar cheese, and little mini slices of sweet bell peppers. And don't worry guys, I made this beforehand, so I'm not cooking first thing when I get up. Some other quick make ahead breakfast that I've been loving lately is baked oatmeal with bananas and chocolate chips. So good, the kids love it as well. Also, if I'm really looking for something really quick, I've recently taken advantage of Panera Bread's Tuesday bagel deal, where you can get 13 bagels for like $7.99 or something. Don't quote me on the price, I can't remember what it was. But yeah, that's really good, just smearing some cream cheese on and eating that along with some berries maybe. Yes, I think sometimes we think breakfasts have to be complicated, but they really don't. They only have to take a few minutes, especially if you prep ahead of time. But today it was the egg bites and to make them extra delicious, I served them with some avocado slices and with some flavored sour cream. I used a Fiesta seasoning packet to make it more of like a Mexican flair and then also a dollop of salsa. Then I take my breakfast into the sun porch where I always have my water with me. So our bathroom is not renovated yet and it has less than ideal storage solutions. So actually instead of having all my stuff that ends up all over the counter, I've recently corralled everything into 
uh, basket, which you will see later in the video. And in it, I just keep all the things that I use daily, like my contact solution and my hairspray, my skincare and my deodorant. And the one I have on tap right now is Sweet Peach and Nectar from Native. And Native is sponsoring this portion of the video, which should make a lot of you happy. This is like one of my most popular offers. So many of you, actually I just got a DM the other day that said, hey, when do you have a new code out? So I got a new code for you, stay tuned in just a sec. Um, but if you are new to my channel and you have not heard about Native before, Native is a company that makes aluminum-free, paraben and sulfate-free deodorants, among many other things. Actually, they're now kind of like a head-to-toe company. They actually just sent me their new body wash in the palm leaf and bergamot which smells amazing, as you would imagine by the title of it. I haven't broken into this one yet, but I'm excited to. And look at the packaging, it's square, how fun. Um, but I've been using their deodorants for over a year. They work really well. My favorite thing I can say for sure about them is not only their amazing scent, um, I have a whole bunch of scents here, but also they're not sticky or tacky. I feel like I'm really picky about what's going on under there. Like I can't stand it when it's like slimy or wet. They are not like that at all and they don't hurt going on either, so they're not super hard. This one is a new scent I haven't started yet, and it is Sandalwood and Fig, and this one smells really good. It probably could even be unisex. Um, it's just like very fresh and, I don't know, like not fruity at all if you don't like fruity stuff. But the one I'm using right now is like one of my all-time favorites. And if you're gonna jump on the offer, definitely pick yourself up a sweet peach and nectar one because it's just so perfect for this time of year. Um, and then look at their cute new packaging. Um, this one again is the same scent as the uh, body wash I just showed you guys. I know you guys will love Native if you have not tried them before. And honestly, with trying to be more natural, there's so many things in life that the barrier to entry is like really difficult. But Native makes it so easy to switch. And yeah, I've just been loving it. And there's even like unisex scents. And they're also vegan and cruelty free. Oh, and then one last thing I forgot to show you guys. I have been using their toothpaste now as well. This one is the charcoal with mint one. And it is black. I don't know if you can see that there. And I'd used charcoal toothpaste before. But this one has mint in it. And so it's like extra good. Just look at that packaging. <laughs> it's so perfect. Okay, so normally three deodorants would cost you $36. But with my code MEGANFOX5, you are going to get them for $24, which is 33% off. And then also that code works for anything on their site. You can get 20% off. So if you want to, you know, pick up some toothpaste or body wash, you can do that too. So again, that code is MEGANFOX5. And let me know if you take advantage of that offer. Um, yeah, it just seems to be a really popular one here. You guys love Native as much as me, it seems. And so I'm excited for all of you who are new to it and are going to get to try it out. So back to the morning routine. So I would love to say I go outside first thing in the morning and breathe in the fresh air, but it's still a little too cold here in the mornings in Pennsylvania. So I just sit in my sun porch. It makes me feel like I'm outdoors. I light a candle, prop up my feet, and I sit down with my breakfast and my Bible. I am going through the Bible recap with Tara Lee Coble, and I definitely recommend this for anyone who wants to actually get into the Word and spend a reasonable amount of time reading. I always thought if you wanted to read through the Bible in a year, you had to dedicate hours of time each day, and that's not true at all. And I've actually never had such regular Bible time as I've had since I started this method starting January 1st. I'm on track, and I never let myself get more than one day off and I try to let that only happen about once a month. Today's passage was not super inspirational or thrilling. It was actually a genealogy in Chronicles, but some days it's Psalms, it's, it's all chronological, so whatever got written next is what is next in your Bible passage, but they are usually about the same amount of time, 10 to 15 minutes it takes to read, I would say, and I like to read with a highlighter handy, sometimes a pen to jot down any notes, or just verses that really stuck out to me. And I know I'm going to get questions, so I got this beautiful Bible from Hosanna Revival, and I can try to link them down below. It's not an affiliate link or anything, but they do make beautiful Bibles. And then when I'm done with my devotions, I will just sit and scroll on my phone a little bit if I have things I need to check, emails that came through the night, maybe a Snapchat or something. Yes, my family, that's how we keep in touch. We do a lot of Snapchatting back and forth. Um, and then I'll just blow out my candle. You can get these candles on my website.
And then I go into the kitchen, pop in my AirPod. Well, it's off brand, it's from Amazon. I can link them below. And then I listen to the Bible recap with Tara Lee Coble. And she kind of explains what I just read. And she always has some great insights. And I listen to that while I tidy up the kitchen. So I pick up my clothes and then this is also where I usually comb my hair, but for the sake of this video, I combed it earlier. And I won't promise you that I make my bed every day, but the days that I do, I always feel much better about myself. But I do my skincare without fail every day and I talked about that in a past video if you are wondering what I do. And I've also made a video about how I comb my hair, if you were wondering about that. I am a Mennonite, so that's why I have my hair up. But any of you that sport the mom bun every day, you guys can feel a kinship with me. It is so nice to have your hair up and out of the way. After this, it's usually around 8 o'clock, and I will head downstairs and try to get some office work figured out for the day. Maybe look at my planner and see what's on deck. Um, I like to plan the night before, but sometimes I do wait till the morning of, um, especially if I kind of already know what's going on. Just writing things down and then crossing them off later is so satisfactory for me. And I designed my own planner pages and then just put them in an A5 binder that I got off of Amazon, which is not available anymore. I'm so sorry about that. But I will try to link my planner pages down below. Right now, you're just going to have to, you know, print them out yourself. But maybe someday I can make a planner available for all of you because. This is just a simple system that works really well for me. I just have three time blocks for each day. And for myself, I break it up as morning, afternoon, and evening, which for myself is housework, office work, and then family time is kind of how it breaks down. And yes, I do have an office reveal coming up eventually. There's still a few things I want to do, but for now, you'll get a few sneak peeks. Around 8.25, I will put down whatever I'm doing and I will go into the kitchen and get my kids their milk. I have a two and a three year old and so if they wake up in the morning before 8.30, they are happy in their rooms. I can hear sometimes I'm singing or talking. Sometimes I have to wake them up at 8.30. Um, so it's a pretty natural time I think to wake them up but I don't feel bad at all if they're in their room awake a little bit before I come get them. It's always happy sounds coming for the room and I think they like to start their day out with a little quiet time too, just like I do. I mean, they are people after all, right? You wanna see a tree? It's a rainbow. A rainbow train. Is that what you dreamed about? I get my kids dressed right away for the day. We're already upstairs. It just works out really well. And I don't know. I enjoy having myself dressed for the day. So maybe they would too. I don't know. But yeah, we don't eat breakfast in our PJs. We just get dressed right off the bat. Sometimes while they're drinking their milk, we will read a book or look at like a spot it type of book where I don't have to do much reading. We just kind of look at the pictures and stuff. What's that number say? Three. Yeah, three. Good job. That's, that's, that's three. And that says nine. And my three-year-old can dress herself for the most part, but I had to help her today with her very unstretchy jumper. And I got this from Walmart of all places. Check Walmart's kids section if you have any little girls. They have some really cute clothing now and again. Another little hack that you guys should try is if you have a two-story home, grab all your dirty laundry every morning, all the sippy cups, you know, anything that needs to go downstairs, basically my water cup. Yeah, anything, I just kind of make a scan through the upstairs and we'll put everything in a wash basket, then I'll take it downstairs 
and sort it out down there. It's kind of like a little system that works really well and I don't have to be running up and down the steps looking for things. And my kids are, they just get busy in the morning. They find stuff to do. They're not interested in breakfast right away. So if we have nowhere to be early in the morning, I will just let them to their own devices and kind of get some work done myself. Is this your favorite color? Sure. It's so pretty. It is. Well, you should fix your room up a little bit. It's a little bit of a mess in here. A lot of bit of a mess. And this is really typical, honestly, and I love it. I love how they um, are not looking to me to find out what they should do first thing in the morning. And it gives me some time to get some things done right off the bat. So the powder room had been bothering me, especially the floor. It was a little dirty, so I decided to do a quick sweep of that and get things just straightened up a little bit in there. And then I got their breakfast going. Today it was just gonna be the little egg cups like I had before, and then I used up the leftover avocado. They would have eaten way more avocado, but I didn't have any more. And then some blueberries, and this was about the perfect amount for them. They're not huge eaters in the morning, or maybe you think this looks like a lot, I don't know. Also, if you're wondering what I put on their avocado slices, that is Italian dressing and everything but the bagel seasoning, and they love it. And since I've been eating my breakfast earlier in the morning, I've been using their eating time to get things done. I know where they're at, I know they're out of trouble. I still try to do work in the kitchen, that way I can, you know, monitor them. Choking is like my number one, like it makes me freak out just even thinking about it. So here I pulled out a bin of winter clothes. I wanted to go through them, see what we had, and just to put everything away and out of mind because we we're done with snow here in Pennsylvania, I think, I hope, um, I'm sure. <laughs> And yeah, I just wanted to kind of take inventory of that and get things organized. And some of the stuff did go on the thrifting pile. And if you are enjoying this morning routine, go ahead when you're done with this video and go down to the description box and click on the link down there where you will find a whole playlist of all kinds of other morning routines that a bunch of other moms here on YouTube have uploaded this week. I know you'll find it helpful and it might even expand your community here on YouTube. And I also set out meat for supper. Tonight we were just going to be having a taco bar, which is super easy, but so delicious. So I just set the ground beef in the sink to thaw out. And then this was a library day. Tuesdays we either go to the library for their story time or we will go work out at the park with a mom's group. Um, today was a library day and so we got ready to get out the door. And I must say I severely overdressed for this day. It was a beautiful like 80 degree day, but it was kind of cooler in the morning. And I did not need the leggings. I did not need the coat. It was beautiful outside. And yes, our mini golden doodle Rio is part of the family. I'd like to give her a little treat when we leave. I was making her wave goodbye and she does have a invisible fence that keeps her on our property so I have no worries there. So it was kind of exciting. Josh was working near home, which doesn't happen too often. So I stopped in on the way to the library to show the kids what their daddy does. That way when they ask, where's daddy? Which they ask faithfully every day, sometimes multiple times, and I tell them that he's working, they actually can picture what that looks like. And he was happy to see them and they were happy to see him as well, as well as their uncle Tim. And the library is always a hit. We try to do it every week. We don't always select books every week, but if we can make time for the outdoor story time this spring, we do it. The kids love it. There's lots of singing and stories. And 
also have a story walk that my kids love to bike along. Basically how that works is if you have them in your city or town, definitely check it out. But you just walk from page to page and you read the pages of a book. And so the kids just biked along the path and yeah, it's the same story for two months, but <laughs> they'd hear it every time, they're fine. So thank you guys for joining me for my morning routine today. I hope that it inspired you to be kind to yourself and to maybe give yourself a frivolous little break once in a while. I do not know how to relax, I really don't. And so I found that being intentional with my mornings has given me just a new lease on life in some ways. I feel like I start my day refreshed and renewed and I don't know if you did the math there, but with my kids waking up at 8.30, I still had a whole hour and a half of time to myself, plus I got to sleep in. So that's a win-win for me, for sure. So even if you're not in that stage of life, things you know are maybe a little more bleak in the sleeping department, I encourage you to find something that you can gift yourself, whether that's just you know a little sit down in the afternoon with an iced coffee, or a walk every evening with your kids, just something that fills your soul and is just a little bit selfish. It's good for us. Thank you so much for being here today. Check out Native's awesome offer in the description box, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.